Welcome, my political friends of the interwebs, and happy Halloween. <laughs> this, is, this is the Halloween edition of uh, Colonel Richard Hunter's uh, extravaganza. Uh, listen, before I start, I wanted to show you guys something, because I know I've, I've got a lot of different, um, well, I shouldn't say a lot of different, I've got subscribers from both, uh, well, multiple channels, let's just put it that way. Um, so some of you may not have seen this on my other channel, or one of my other channels, but this was a gift from none other than Firearm Pop, Colonel Vinny. Um, it is, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it is a Jim Beam uh, whiskey bottle from 1970. It is very, very cool, and it's got the Honorable Order of Kentucky Colonel's um, uh, uh, logo, I guess, uh, seal. The seal of the Honorable Order of Kentucky Colonel's right on the bottle. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Just wanted to show everybody that. Uh, thank you very much, Colonel. Uh, Vinny, you are, you're awesome. I don't even know what else to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it when people send me little gifts. It's like Christmas. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Anyway, um, this is going to be just, I'm not going to make this a real long video. I just uh, wanted to answer a couple of questions that people had given me. I know I've been flooding the airwaves, the airwaves, the interwebs with, uh, with political videos. Um, I had went to, uh, well, clearly, I went to the Mitt Romney rally in a place called Finley, Ohio, which is a little less than an hour's drive for me uh, from, from where I'm at in Toledo. It definitely worth going to, for sure, checking out. And um, I've been to uh, a Mitt rally in uh, Toledo, and I, as you've seen videos from that. And then I just, you know, it was close enough. But, I mean, if Mitt's within a few hours of my, of my house, and I can do it. I'm gonna go check it out. The Finley rally was kind of interesting because he uh, he was um, he was there with Paul Ryan, um, so kind of cool in my opinion. Anyway, listen the the turnout unbelievable. Uh, listen unbelievable. I have some footage. I got a lot as you can imagine, a ton of footage. But uh, I talked to one of the button guys, and I said this in a previous video. If you want to know how the campaigns are going, talk to the guys that are selling the, the, the campaign swag, the uh, the buttons, the t-shirts, the hats, all that kind of uh, stuff. Talk to those guys because those guys, you know, they, they may be selling a, a Romney rally one day and an Obama rally the next. So they see it all. And the, the dude that I talked to, he's been all over the country. He told me that the rallies for, uh, for Romney are off the chain. They are off the hook, crazy, lots of turnout, which we know. You don't hear this in the media at all, but we know this. Um, but he said the, the, the turnout for the Obama rallies, sad, pathetic, weak in comparison. And this guy was a young college kid just making a little money. Um, it, I've said this for the longest time. You're not going to get this from the mainstream. You only get this kind of reporting from people like me, uh, people like, um, well, I, I don't want to say the, the, the disciples of Breitbart, but in a lot of ways, yes. That, uh, that citizen journalist that isn't a professional journalist, but is there on the scene to actually show you what's really happening. I mean, you know, that's where you're going to get the real news. You're not going to get it from CNN. You're not going to get it from NBC News, CBS News, ABC News, MSN. You're not going to get it from any of them. But if you pay attention to people like me that are on the ground and showing you what's really happening, unfiltered, unfiltered, you know, <laughs> and then you get some of the truth. And the truth is, and I've said this before, listen, when I... When I name my uh, uh, videos, Romney Owns Ohio, I'm not doing that just to be um, smart. I'm not doing that just to be a fanboy of Romney. I'm doing that because it's the truth. Everything that I have seen, everybody that I've talked to, all the indicators to me on the ground in Ohio tells me that Romney owns Ohio, period. Now, listen, don't believe me if you don't want to, but I'm going to tell you, I want you to think about this. It, listen, once again, you're not going to get this from the mainstream media. You're just not. I'm not claiming to be a journalist. I am claiming to be a citizen journalist, which is a wholly different thing, okay? <laughs> We're a little more real. But if you look at Ohio as a whole, yes, you've got Cleveland, lots of welfare mamas on, in Cleveland, lots of Obama phone, one, you know, one, one of lovers on Cleveland. That's where, by the way, the Obama phone video, that chick was in Cleveland. <laughs> okay, you've got Toledo, Ohio, greater Toledo, I don't know, 800,000, 
you know, Toledo, Ohio, very UAW, Jeep plant started here, the, you know, the famous Jeep plant started uh, in uh, Toledo, it was the Willys Overland Company. Um, you've got Hydromatic here, you've, I mean, literally, uh, Toledo's, for all intents and purposes, a little sister to Detroit. But outside of Toledo and Cleveland, what you have in Ohio is red. I mean red. Columbus is is red with the exception of some of the idealist university students, most of which, to be honest with you, don't vote anyway. Um, but Columbus, Cincinnati is hugely red. It's hugely Republican. Hugely Republican in Cincinnati. Yeah, and, and by the way, Southeast Kentucky, Southeast Kentucky is, well, even the ones that were Democrats are not voting for Obama because their economy has relied and have relies heavily on the production of coal. The southeast region of, of Ohio is like the, the uh, south, southeast region of Kentucky. It's coal, it's coal bearing. So they look at Obama as somebody that's really devastated their livelihoods. So the traditional Democrat voter in southeast Kentucky, or excuse me, southeast Ohio, is not voting for Obama. It's just not going to happen. So when I say that Obama owns Ohio, trust me when I tell you, he, I don't, these polls are generated by people with an agenda. Now, some people go, oh, you've got an agenda. But I'm telling you that, I mean, listen, you can say what you want, okay? But dispute the things that I'm telling you, okay? Just come to me in my comment section, dispute the things that I'm telling you. Uh, are, are, the, uh, are the Southeast coal miners in, in Ohio working? Or do they feel like Obama has shafted them with their with his war on coal? I'm here to tell you, they feel like Obama has shafted them with the war on coal. And here's the thing, to a lot of people who think, oh, well, well war on coal. Let me tell you something about the war on coal. It doesn't just affect the guys that go under the ground. There's a whole cottage industry around coal. Every community that's touched by coal, and, and I know this because of my connections with South, Southeast Kentucky, I'm telling you right now, it's huge. People are hurting because of that war on coal. They're not going to be voting for Obama. I can guarantee you that. So, once again, when I tell you that Obama owns Ohio, trust me, when he owns Ohio. So, <laughs> so I've got to hurry this up because i got kids coming to the door pretty soon to, to get their candy. But um, it is Halloween after all. I wanted to answer a couple of other questions that people had. Uh, one person sent me a message saying, hey, I've been a fan of yours for a long, long time, and this is the first time I've ever seen you disable comments and disable uh, uh, um, ratings. What's up with that? You know, <laughs> and you know, he's right. This is the first time that I can remember that I ever posted a video where I disabled ratings and comments. And now listen, the reason I did that was simple. I, it was the, by the way, it was the, it was the interview with the 15-year-old girl Okay, and that was the, and and that was at the Obama or excuse me the uh, the, the the rally for for Ryan and Romney. Um, this girl was very sweet. She's very Christian. Uh, she's an activist for Romney. She's working the phone bank. She's making phone calls. She's politically involved, but she's 15. And one thing I've learned in my seven years plus on YouTube is that. Uh, people are cruel and they do not take into consideration that somebody's young, uh, whatever. And, and to be honest with you, I debated this with myself because, you know, I mean, she is putting herself out there, but ultimately it, it came down to this. She, she's a 15 year old young lady, very sweet, very nice. And she just didn't, and I, I I'll tell you what. I, the comments right now in that video, I have to filter, okay? They come to me for approval or dismissal. And I was right. The first 20 comments that I got on that video, eight, eight, out, of, eight, out, or eight of them were calling her vile, horrible names. And I'm not, you know, I'm just not going to expose her to that. I'm just not. Um, so <laughs> you can, you can, you know, you know, you can call it what it is. I, I am a big proponent of, of uh, free speech for the most part. Although, I've always said this, when you come to my house, which is my channel, when you come to my house, you, there ain't no free speech. It's the speech that I allow you. It's no different than your house. I mean, if somebody walked into your living room and started uh, acting a fool, you would deny them their right to do that and throw them out because they don't have any right to do that. So anyway, listen, that is what that was all about. Uh, uh, I just didn't want to expose that young lady, very sweet girl. I just did not want to expose her to some of the ugliness that can be uh, the extreme left. 
because the extreme left on YouTube, as in the rest of the world, are nuts. <laughs> she's got plenty of years in her future to figure out that the lefties are a bunch of crazy, crazy bastards. So anyway, that was one of the questions. What else did somebody ask? Oh, the motorcycle. Um, I think it was uh, Superfly Fat Guy asked me if I was uh, trying to take over uh, Scotty DTV's job. <laughs> you know, um, I will always show you guys something cool. That to me was cool. Here's the thing I did this time different than I did in Toledo. See, in Toledo, I actually went in and listened to Romney speak. I'd already heard him speak. Um, I wanted to see some of the stuff that was going on outside that I couldn't uh, see if I would have went inside. One of which was... Uh, watching the uh, the motorcade come in and I got that video up I thought that was really neat. it's really super cool if you've never seen something like that you really should see it because you've got a situation where uh, this caravan of motorcycles and flashing lights and, and sirens and it's just cool well look at my video and and imagine yourself there it, it was it was pretty neat it really was but then I seen all those motorcycles excuse me my nose is itching. all those no motorcycles went across the street to a gas station and they were like a bunch of, I can't remember how many you said now, I don't know, 14, 15 of them, whatever they were. And um, it was kind of cool because there's like a, it was like a Harley gang, but they were all state troopers. And I thought to myself, I'm going to go over there and check some of those bikes out. Now, I've never seen a police motorcycle up close. The closest I've ever been to one was when one pulled me. Once in my life, I was pulled over by, by a moto cop. And uh, so I got to see the bike in my rearview mirror. Not, not really what you want. Trust me. Um, so I went over there, and, the, and I just started filming this 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 bike. And the guy that you know, these guys are protective of their bikes, and so he seen me over there by his bike, and he, you know, he, I could see him out of the corner of my right eye. He comes, you know, over, and and that's why I said, "Is this your bike?" And and then I went on, and he was really a super cool dude. You know, he was a super cool dude. And one person said that he thought that was a, a waste, a big government waste of money. I gotta be honest with you. With the price of gas, I think uh, moto cops are are pay for themselves because you get the gas mileage on a, on a, on one of those Harleys is a hell of a lot better than on a cruiser. You know, <laughs> for those of you who are pushing pennies, um, yeah, I mean it's it's definitely one way to look at. It. But I will always bring you guys something. Listen, I considered that to be connected to politics because this guy was one of the moto officers that were escorting Ro Romney in. But the truth is, if I see something cool, I'm going to show you guys. I mean, I don't care what it is. I seen a Lamborghini the other day, and, and if I'd had my camera with me, I would have shot that, and I would have showed you guys. So, anyway, listen, I'm rambling on. It's it's just about time for the kitties to show up uh, with their little outfits on. I don't think I'm going to film any of that just because they're little kids. But um, I always, I've never not given candy out, so I'm not going to miss this. And I don't need it in my house. I need to give it away. <laughs> you know, my neighbors across the street, they've got kids. Last year I had probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 candy bars left over. Before before it was all done, I just walked it right across the street. So anyway, everybody take care. See ya!